About four days ago, we got the trailer back as a pile of painted parts, and we've just been working diligently to try to get this thing put back together now. As of last night, actually, we started to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really proud of the way the rear bumper is coming out. Your spare tire, you hold your jerry can, swings open, snaps into place, allowing enough clearance to be able to open the bed. We are truly at a 90% point now, so we're locked in place. We've got a two burner stove, a sink with running water. You know, it's the iceberg theory where you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg and man, that thing looks cool. But you don't know that there's just tons and tons beneath every single decision we make. Refrigerator, freezer. All powered, not a nice chest. One more table. Between the, the powder coated frame and every panel, every piece, every slider, every mount, I would guess there's probably 150 separate pieces. Come over here, we get into our propane tank. Two different regulators coming off of it. One that'll run the hot water heater. Got your shower right there. Every step along the way, it's, it's having to make a decision on how far you want to take something. Our toilet, definite high class here. Really happy with the way the scissors lift worked. Push button, remote control, up it goes. It's moving the whole truck a little bit, right? Let's say you were parked underneath a tree. This allows you to bring it down, flip it out, get all your bedding, you know, get everything kind of situated and then put it at whatever height you want to put it. We took it to another level, which I think can compete with any kind of overland trailer on the market out there. And in my opinion, I think we have certain parts of this that can't be beat.